So just following on from the DC to DC conversion chat uh, from the previous video. So this is a nickel metal hydride CRZ pack and uh, you can see this one has had some of the parts taken out. This is the ba basically the battery pack and the connectors. So we've removed the IPU with the intelligent power unit from here and removed the DC to DC from here. You can see this is like a airflow channel here uh, uh, for the cooling for those, those units. So forgetting about the IPU for a minute, which fits in there fine, and we know that that uh, will accept voltage certainly up to 175, 180 volts or so. Um, so let's look at the DC to DC. So obviously we've got the stock DC to DC, and that just pops in there perfectly like that. So obviously I'm looking at the HCH2 DC to DC. Now, first of all, we know that the oh, look after look at the orientation of the fins, so it's got to go in a certain direction. It's really got to probably go in this direction. You can see the fin direction there, and the airflow through that uh, channel is uh, front to back, as you can see there. So it won't go in, obviously, without some modification. Okay, that's fair enough. So I think what we'll probably have to do is we're probably going to have to uh, machine off this tab here machine off the edge of this uh, tab here just to make that flat there so it's a flat there and machine that off and that will help it get past this point here and uh, also help it get under here now obviously the um, size of the uh, heat sinks underneath if we look at these we can see that that is uh, different so what I'll have to do is I'll have to machine off machine machine off the heat sinks so it, until it matches the size of the heat sink for the stock uh, um, unit so it can go through the hole basically in the uh, case here um, I suppose you could possibly machine out this a little bit more to get a little bit more heat sink but I don't think I'll bother with that uh, this side will have to come off so what I'll probably do is I'll machine this down so it's just go down goes down to this flat piece that you can see here uh, and so basically the, we will lose this side panel here which is pretty flexible and it's not particularly vital anyway um, so we can use that so machine it down there cut it down there cut it along here and cut it there so basically then we have some overhang at this side as you can see there's quite a bit of room in here anyway between this and the actual edge of the uh, unit case uh, the actual wall of the wheel well here so once we've got this then in position uh, with the edges machined off it probably will drop into that space and the height of this unit is uh, exactly the same height as the CRZ um, IPU so the height is not an issue if we can drop it into this slot here and just machine the heat sink down now this is protected by its own um, heat temperature sensors so it will shut down if it gets too hot but we're going to lose about a third of the heat sinking um, but obviously it's all within this nice efficient I've never noticed a problem with a DC to DC before overheating and I wouldn't imagine that will be a problem you could so certainly for testing initially I'm not going to machine anything I'm just going to hack the wires in and wire it up uh, so does the car accept it yes or no that's the question we need to ask at the moment it looks like it probably will and obviously as we you've seen it works up to a much higher voltage up to 220 volts so if it will accept it these are like 10 a penny in the scrapyard with loads of uh, honda civic hch2 models kicking around so then basically we if it does accept it then we take the pack out we machine the uh, surroundings we machine the dc to dc and we fit it in properly and uh, then we're well, then we're basically ready to go with uh, further increases in the pack voltage uh, to where we want to be to get more power.